easily, I would say, extend her lead. <laughs> And even though she's rearranged the floor exercise routine and the tumbling passes, it's really not going to make a difference in her overall score. Why would she do that, Elfie? I think they just wanted to come up with something that was going to make her feel more comfortable about tonight's competition. She's actually capable of doing a quadruple twist. That was only three. 9.6. One more routine like that, and Nastia Liukin is the next national champion. So the leader in the Visa National Championships is Nastia Liukin. And it feels weird to say it because it seems as though that's what we were saying before this event even started. That she would be the national champion. Chelsea Memo watched it all go wrong on the balance beam. And there's probably no consoling her now. So here are the standings. Liukin has a lead four tenths. I mean, you're, you're talking about the need for Liukin to make a major mistake and then Memo to take advantage of it. Yana Beaker and then Alicia Sacramoni. And Sacramoni, after what happened on the uneven bars, isn't thinking about the podium any longer. This is going to be a major changing of the guard, as we might have thought, with none of the Olympians coming back. Well, as she goes cleanly through this exercise, she is the only athlete of the top four to do what every single one of them tells us before the meet begins. They want to go eight for eight. And a big skill for her right here, blind landing. Oh, God. And you know, that's just as devastating as a oh. fall putting your hands down. So it's the same deduction. That'll be about five tenths of a point. And here, it's her move. Oh. Did she touch? I think so, yeah. This is, boy, she made it all the way through to the last event. First, balance, balance beam again. Yep, first event as a as a senior. Looked like she's been here a million times. And she's looked that way in practice as well. Every day, the same, just the same, consistent. Yeah, I've been amazed at, at how, how great she has looked. She had a very serious injury. About 10 months ago, dislocated her kneecap and had surgery on that, rehabilitated. And to look this great all the way through, quite a testament to her. The very difficult dismount she has planned. It's a double front, blind landing. She takes a lot of risk throughout the entire routine, but especially on this dismount. was this front with a half just a little bit off maybe could have saved it she tried same skill we saw chelsea memo fall on earlier in the evening so all four of the top athletes take a fall on balance beam of these championships amazing and yet you have to think and marta caroli has not been very visible at these national championships as she watches and prepares for the world championships later this year and who she'd like to see on the team you got to figure yana bigger is part of the picture now what does chelsea memo finish up with well she does a double twisting laid out your chanko nine eight start you can does a nine seven start here it is and that's a much better vault from night one more powerful <laughs> The rocket. Wow. Good girl. Way to do it, honey. Way to finish out. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. I asked you the one thing. Good girl. Good girl. You can tell in her body language. She knows the math. Girl's voice. These athletes have become much closer. They train monthly together down at the ranch in Texas at the National Training Center. 
This a nice vault, but a little bit of form in the air, and this right here, the big step on the landing, she has a one-tenth advantage over Nastia Lukin on this event start-wise, but that big step on the landing, if she'd have stuck it, put a little bit more pressure on Nastia. 9-5-1-6 from Memel. She finishes in the same squad with Nastia Liukin, meaning they can eyeball each other and see exactly what's going on. But Nastia Liukin needs only to do better than a 9.116, and that's... Simple. <laughs> Very simple for her. And as Tim mentioned, the vault that she's performing is out of a 9.7. She'd have to fall down on the runway to not have this happen. She stumbled early and roared back late. And destiny comes true for Nastia Liuki. Absolutely gorgeous. The 2005 U.S. National Champion. That stumble on the balance beam is now ancient history. Fighter. Yes, she is a fighter. Chelsea Memel has to know what happened on the balance beam. She's a veteran, been through this. She knows exactly what happened. But going from junior national champion to senior national champion in one year, there have been some great ones that have done that. One, an Olympic champion, Carly Patterson, her teammate. 9.483, more than enough cushion. And there's Chelsea Memple's dad and Nastia's own dad. <laughs> and we showed you that picture yesterday of Nastia walking into the gym down in Plano, Texas, and every time looking up at the picture of Carly Patterson, and now they can put a picture of her up on there too. So, Liukin, Memel, and Beeger on the podium as we go down to Andrea Joyce. First senior nationals, and she takes home the big prize. Nasia, congratulations. Tell me what it was like out there battling your way back tonight from third to win this title. Um, well, I didn't really think about, you know, trying to get first place, but of course that would be great, and it is great. But um, I just try to focus on doing my routines like I do in practice, you know, and just trying to hit four for four tonight. Valerie, there was a little bit of that slip on the beam in day one. What about that adversity? Is that maybe a blessing in disguise sometimes when someone has so much success like Nastia? Well, yeah, well, lately people talk about her a little too much, I think. You know, she's just a gymnast, and that's how we're taking it, you know. And uh, accidents happen, and it happened to everybody. And that was one of, it, it's not a mistake, that was her accident. Did you know something like that was going to happen eventually? I mean, she's had so much success. Absolutely. It's going to happen sooner or later with everybody. We're not machines. We're just a human being. And what did you learn from all of that, from that experience? Did you learn something about yourself as a competitor? Um, yeah, definitely. You know, national is um, it's a two-day competition, so after the first day, if you have a little mistake, you can never give up. And even when you feel like, you know, it's all over, it's, it's never over, you know? So just keep fighting your way through it. Well, you did it. Congratulations. Thank you. So it's an American national championship with a Russian accent and a modern tone as well. When things were done, Nastia's mom was on the receiving end of a text message. Remember, she can't bear to watch her daughter in competition. Hey, mom, I won. How's that for 2005?